Hi guys, welcome, welcome, and welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Pilai D, and I'm already I'm Lohadi. I am a qualified educator teaching in Limpopo province. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe, please do turn on the notification button, and please do leave a comment in the comment section box. Please note that whatever that I share on my channel is based on my personal experiences as an educator so good people i tried to put on a ring light never mind the shadow um the weather condition is not so good from outside so i tried to put on a ring light i'm hoping i'm clear <laughs> yes so on today's topic we are actually discussing um the benefits of being a teacher in south africa i actually had somebody approaching me and that person asked me why i'm advocating for teaching so much because teaching is one of the hardest jobs and they thought that it is easy and you know what i definitely agree with them it's not easy guys <laughs> trust me it's not but there's so much um you know fulfillment that comes with this job it's i cannot even explain it you know um the fact that you are doing a difference and it's visible to you you know personally you can see that you are making a difference in somebody else's life you are actually um sharpening somebody's future you know the fact that god has plans for this individual child and you are there you are part of the plan for you to actually make it possible for the child to have a bright future it's wonderful you know i believe that as teachers god is using us to actually um elevate these kids to give them a better future you know according to the will of god and it's definitely fulfilling but but <laughs> guys it's not easy <laughs> It's not easy, you know, I'll, like this job will test your patience. This job will test your heart. <sighs> I'm being realistic, guys. It's not easy. I realized this when I was doing my practicals. You know, in class adversity, it's all glitter. All you do is, is do assignments, you do tests and all that. Um, It's only some of the lectures that will actually share um real experiences real um classroom experiences that they had before they could actually lecture and you know some of those stories actually help to prepare you for the real classroom but it's not really enough until you get to experience it personally and you realized oh my gosh really it's not easy <laughs> and also guys it depends on the environment um where you're working it depends if it is a public school or a private school but one thing i know it's not easy to deal with learners it's not easy at all um it doesn't matter whether you are at a public or a private school because these learners come from different backgrounds they are raised by different um parents with different views you know with different beliefs so yeah all these things affect you as a teacher and remember you have all these different personalities in one class in some instances you have 60 learners in one class that means you have 60 different um backgrounds 60 different personalities that you deal with in one day oh my goodness <laughs> guys i'm just being realistic but otherwise there are so many benefits to this at the end of the day you go back home happy at the end of the day you see progress in this learners and it really 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 fulfills you so before i share the benefits i thought i should share this with you guys it's not that we're not being realistic about this job it is difficult but it is also nice at the same time. I hope you get my vibe. So guys, please note that um, the benefits that I'm about to share have 
to do with working at a public school. So these are the benefits that only teachers that are working for the government get. I'm not sure about private school. I don't teach there. Um, apparently, some private schools don't afford to give their teachers some of these benefits. Also, apparently, um, you know, it depends on the experience that you have. So sometimes as a young educator or a newly qualified educator, you will not really benefit a lot when it comes to working at a private school because of the number of you know, working years or experience that you have. So I'm definitely sharing what I know. I'm definitely sharing what I'm experiencing because I don't work at a private school. So I'm only sharing information that has to do with public school. Okay, so number one on my list is medical aid contribution. So in short, when I speak of medical aid contribution, that means that you are paying a certain portion and the government is paying a certain portion for you. Of course, um, it depends on the medical aid. It depends on how much you're paying as well. So I will not um, speak a lot about it, but in simple terms, that means you're not gonna pay the whole amount that you were supposed to pay on your medical. Two on my list is pension fund contribution so also um just like medical aid they also contribute um a certain percentage um towards your pension and you get to enjoy it when you retire guys <laughs> also note that with housing allowance if you have ticked or indicated that you are renting um you don't get the the allowance together with your salary every month they actually gonna save it up for you until you are a home owner and if you have indicated on the form that you are a home owner you then definitely start receiving your housing allowance every month so, so these two are different however you are definitely gonna get the money that was saved up for you once you are a home owner. last on my list is bonus <laughs> yes as an educator you do get your thirteenth check yes you do get your bonus and you get it during your birthday month isn't that cool guys i mean who wants to be broke on their birthday nobody <laughs> This is actually the time that you actually want to spoil yourself, you know, and and thank God for life, you know, thank God for, you know, your job, your everything, and it's actually nice to celebrate your birthday with your pocket full. So this is one of the beautiful, biggest um, benefits of being an educator. So guys. You also get to, you know, pay up your debts with your, your, your bonus. You know, unlike, unlike other jobs where you get a bonus according to your performance as well at work, um, you know that with teaching, there's no way you wouldn't get your bonus. It is confirmed, you know. <laughs> You're definitely going to get it each year. You know 365 days in at least one month you're gonna get your bonus <laughs> so guys that's it from me today that's it from me Piladi, and i'm ready i'm Loradi. thank you so much for tuning in so much love